Hey guys, here with you Gulnaz and guess where we are? We are in Russian Banya. What did you know about Russian Banya? I'm sure I'm begging that you know nothing. So here I am to tell you something about this perfect, amazing, great space. So what is the Russian Banya? Is it something similar with the sauna, hammam, temazkal and sweat lodge? But it's Russian style. So originally the Russian banya made by wood, like here, yeah? But the modern banya could be made by bricks and yeah, I think bricks and wood. So what is the main thing in the banya? It's the oven, of course. Uh, now we're doing the outside of the banya. So the metal structure, here you're putting wood, yeah, the piece of wood. You're making the fire here and it needs to be like one, one and a half hour to get banya is ready. Yeah, and let's go and show you what is inside. So this is how is look the Russian banya. Usually it's the one room and the main thing of course is the oven. This is how it's look the other side, yeah. There is the fire getting ready, and here was the all warm heat is coming from. So the oven could be two type of. This one is the white oven, and how it's look? Yeah, it's a stone. It's the river stones. We collecting it from the river. They should be big, and they keep the heat from the fire, and like. This is the tube where the old smoke they going out and the tube going to the roof and after it's going to the air. And how we using, yeah? We here usually the close to the old one is the big basket with the where we collect the water, the cold water, and by the fire getting ready is becoming hot. So we're using this water, yeah, and we put it to the stones so that a lot of heat, a lot of steam coming from the stones and this is white kind of yeah as I say the oven and second type is the black oven so it's the same same but it don't have this tube so the all smoke going all around and why it's called black because the all walls getting black by using my time but the people say the black type is more healthy but uh, I don't know my one grandma have black type another grandma have a White type, the both are great and good. So, what we have more in the bunny? Yeah? The main thing is here when you're sitting close to the steam, you're putting the water here, yeah, and you're getting heat, you're getting really hot. So, here is the thermometer, and usually temperature should be 80 or more above. Yeah, 90, well, 100 is too much, but still, it's the secret is the thing here yeah, is to get hot to get steam to get sweat to open all your pores and clean up and it's depend on your health you can sit as long as you can and another main thing is of course the using the broom i don't like the really english word for this yeah the broom in russia we have special word it's called vink so it's made by trees the branch of the trees uh, oh i don't know the name of this tree you know with the white trunk and the black spots yeah and we usually collect them in the may time the young one the fresh one we put it up together the branch and before to start using we put it in the hot water and it's a little bit getting soft there and after when it's inside the water when you're hot yeah when you sweat you're putting it here you're getting more hot here and after you start slapping yourself or oh, another one yeah your friends start slapping yourself your face a little bit and all your body i know what you're thinking about all oh, this crazy russia they're slapping so much the legs are the mother so no that's not true it's not painful because you see it's very soft it's have a lot of leaves on this of course if it's gonna be just branch it's gonna be painful but we're using the soft one and it's really we're thinking that it's really healing us and doing a lot of massage and cleaning us so like this and i i, I mean i love it <laughs> i really love the this thing and this massaging 
because it's it's you feel like you're cleaning up all your pores, throwing or foxing and shit what you have. And of course, after when you sweat, you should get clean. So it's always have a basket of the water. Here is the hot. Here is the cold. You're washing yourself. And well, in this banya, it's everything in one room. Yeah, here you are getting hot, and here you are washing yourself like originally russia the banya it's really old old tradition it's even before jesus before cross before they get christian yeah so the banya it's also it's like mainly for cleaning for washing themselves yeah so in every banya you can wash yourself uh, using like whatever you want the shampoo yeah and actually this thing the fork yeah it's made by sheep wool yeah, you're using it to don't hit too much your head when you're sitting there in, uh, and <laughs> and sweating. Yeah, it could be like dizzy your head. So we're using this kind of head to protect our head. So where else? Uh, like, the, as I say, the banya could be for cleaning. Yeah, like it's usually we're using it. We have the banya. We use it like once or twice per week just to wash the cells to get steam. It's like a gigienic, but it also could be ceremony, the banya ceremony, and uh, it could be with the herbs, with a special kind of oil. The we should have banshik. It's the leader, yeah, who lead the, the practice, the ceremony, so he can give special kind of breath. Uh, he usually know how to. How call this thing here? Yeah? How to slap the body and different things. Uh, you can sing here yeah, wherever you want, wherever the banshee. So it's it's really ceremony, and of course I cannot tell you everything what is happening here in this magic place. It's not only just cleaning and getting your hair the clean and beautiful. Yeah, it's also the cleaning the spirit of yourself. And you can just try this, yeah? I cannot to show you. I cannot, because it's really hot. My camera will not take this hot heat. Uh, you just need to come to Russia and try it. From Russia, love.